what is better? A regular flashlight or a headlamp? Now, they both have their own properties and they have their benefits and their drawbacks, okay? You may not always have a headlamp with you at all times. You may have a flashlight, say in your car or something, if you break down or something along that lines, but you may not always have a headlamp. One way you could ensure that is if you have an emergency go bag in your car is to make sure that you have a headlamp in there. Probably one that runs on regular batteries and not rechargeable batteries because then you'd have to make sure you're pulling it out every once in a while to make sure that it's charged. And the same with your flashlight, you know, maybe once a month it wouldn't hurt if you just pull your flashlight out and just make sure that that sucker is working. You may have to throw some new batteries in it. A mag light, all right? I've had this mag light probably for 30 years, all right? Still works good. The little plastic piece right there did break off, but that happened years ago. But <clears throat> this thing's been to hell and back. Um, it is solid metal, waterproof. Um, as you saw, I dropped it right on a concrete floor. Nothing happened to it. And it ain't the first time and it's been dropped. But, Well, at least it's a mag light, but it's just to demonstrate how difficult it can be when you have to really need two hands. You know, when you have to have two hands and try to hold a flashlight and everything else, you're not always going to have that other person to hold the flashlight for you. And then if it is a, say, one of your kids, especially if it's a little kid, you know, they're going to be doing one of these. Ooh, ooh, and you know what? You need it right down there. And they're going to be over here looking at the tree or something like that. <laughs> Come on. We all know what happens. All right. Your standard mag light. All right. 168 looms. Now, this is an old edition. They do have some new ones that are out that are far brighter and everything else than what this one is. But this particular flashlight is only 168 lumens. All right. Now, it is good. You could use it for self-defense also, so it does have more than one thing that it can do. If you needed it, it's there. This is a two-cell. They make them in three and four and everything else, but this is just a two-cell mag light. 168 lumens. Sun Gobbler. 1,200 lumens. Runs on two rechargeable batteries that are sealed inside this little pack right here has a rubber seal around it. These are waterproof. They are made out of aluminum, okay? They have three settings. You have the high setting, which will- There we go, nice and bright. Well, this beats sleeping outside in the rain, I guess. At least I got a roof over my head. Which will last you five hours constantly on. They have the low setting, which will last- on this abandoned building, raining out. This is going to have to do for the night, I tell you. This setting, which will last you 12 hours constantly on. And it has the strobe feature uh, for emergencies or something like that. If you're trying to get somebody's attention, those type of things. That will also last for six hours on strobe. It does zoom in and out, as you did see in the video. I'll be warm and dry for the night. I won't have to worry about that. Put some light down here. Oh, yeah. When I shined it onto the wall, you can zoom it right down. You can pinpoint something. It's nice and bright, and you can see exactly what you need to do. You can pull that sucker back and get a full view, okay? Now, these things shoot um, 1 to 200 meters, depending on what setting you have it on. Headlamps are very, very versatile. They're something that is very, very important to have a headlamp in case of an emergency situation. Because at that point, with your headlamp, your hand's free. If you're wearing a baseball cap, turn that sucker right around, and it just pops right on. And there you go. Your hand's free. You know what I'm saying? You can walk through the woods, you can walk down a trail, you can walk down a road, you can walk through a field and everything else. If you got to move some brush or stuff out of your way, try to climb over something, anything of that nature, 
got to work on your car, change a flat tire, anything. You have both hands free because you got a headlamp on. And that's why I think if you're going to spend your money, now I have several flashlights, but if you're going to spend your money out there, folks, invest in a good old headlamp. Now I did get this one on Amazon. Right now it is not in, currently in stock. All right, but this is the Sun Gobbler, all right, 1200 lumens. Comes with the rechargeable batteries and everything. Comes with the cables to charge it. USB. All right. Doesn't plug into the wall, but you know, if you got your cell phone, you just take and unplug that, plug this in, plug it into the wall, and it charges. You can plug it into your computer. Um, a lot of new cars have USB ports in them. You can plug it in that, and it's going to charge it also in there. All your battery backups is the USB. Your battery banks, USB. You know, this thing is made. For today's society. This was made for my society when I was younger. Back in my 20s. But you know what? This worked back then. Got me through. Yes, there was some difficult times with it because you struggle. You know, if you got to try to do something, you know, you usually need two hands. All right, let me get this stuff out of here. Having a headlamp, you always have your hands free. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And I hope you all enjoyed the little video. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the bright side. And that, people, is why you want to use a headlamp instead of using a regular flashlight. Having both hands free is key to survival in any situation.